Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lead 2 Predictions. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. My merch is down in the description below. Please feel free to click on the links after watching this video. For the first time this season, we're going to look at the Lead 2 table before I get down to my predictions. As you can see now, the Lead table on the left hand side of the screen, I think it is. Um, Exeter at top, sitting nicely with 22 points. Crew Alexander, 21 points, had a great result this weekend. I'll get more down to that in a minute. Um, Cheltenham in third, 20 points. It really is tight. I know it's early, I know there's still a long way to go, and you'll probably see a lot more of the league table as we go through the season. But how tight this is, is... You know, as I say, especially between, who knows, top seven. Um, you know, only basically five points off. Um, I didn't know how close this table was until I looked at it. Even down the bottom's tight. Lake Norion on nine points. St Scunthorpe and Stevenage. Scunthorpe on five. Stevenage on four. Two, two and one point out of the, uh, you know, to get in the safety zone. Lake Norian, 9, um, playoffs, um, Swindon Town, 4th, with 20 points, uh, Forest Green, 18, Bradford, 17, Newport, 17, Crawley, in 8th at the minute, with 16 points, Sulphur City, Way down in 17th, this division ain't as easy as it looks, even with the class of 92 owners in it. Um, but as I said, they still have to do a job at the end of the day. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Carlisle versus Oldham. Oldham winning 3-1 at home to Morecambe. Carlisle losing to Bradford, 3-1 away from home. Uh, let's go speak about Oldham, who are sitting in 20th. Um, a good three points for Oldham, especially down in that relegation scrap. Um, as I said, there's still a long way to go in this. So, who knows what it will be at the end of 46 weeks, I think it is. Um, but as it looks at the minute, this really does make the league look exciting. Um, Carlisle losing, uh, Carlisle sitting in 18th place as it stands, 11 points, so, you know, that probably was a bit of a big defeat, but Bradford, good three points, more probably expected from Bradford as well, sitting in 6th place, um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Cheltenham versus Crew Alexander. Cheltenham beating Plymouth for a goal away from home 2 0. Crew Alexander 4 1 winners at home against uh, Sulphur City. Sulphur went 1 0 up in that as well. Um, top of the title clash this is going into this weekend. I, I, w I wish I could watch this game. I think it's going to be an absolute stunner. Um, you know, both teams fighting for the top. Uh, both teams being at the top as it stands. One point between the two of them. But, you know, where do you go as far as this one? But as far as this one goes, I've gone with a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crawley versus Walsall. Crawley. 3-2. Two, uh, sorry, 2-2 two, two at Northampton Town away from home. Walsall beating Scunthorpe at home 1-0. Crawley went 2-0 down in that game as well. I feel so hard done by for Northampton Town. Look like I go get the three points to right at the death and then Crawley still that other goal, which makes it a point apiece. Um, you know, where do you go with that? If you're Northampton Town... You've got to be a bit gutted, I would think. Um, but Walsall beating Scunthorpe at home 1-0. Probably expected a lot from that game, considering it's uh, bottom of the 
bottom of the table clash, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Crawley win. My next one is Exeter versus Grimsby. Exeter 1 0 away to Newport. Grimsby Town beating Macclesfield 1 0 at home. Both games probably expected um, a lot purely because of the table positions. Um, you know, Exeter, top of the table, looked like I beat everyone. That's no disrespect to these two. What I'm seeing of Exeter at the minute is phenomenal. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 1 Exeter win. My next one is Lake Norian versus Port Vale. Lake Norian sitting down in 21st with 9 points. So they've basically gone 10 games, only 3 wins. Obviously, they might have drawn a couple as well, but I'm just putting them into perspective. Um, Port Vale are 13th in the table as it stands. But Paul Fowler seems to be holding their own this, uh, this year round. As far as the results went, Lake Norman got beat 2-1 away to Colchester. Paul Fowler 2-2 at home to Mansfield. Um, that Paul Fowler result probably just a little bit more disappointing. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Paul Fowler win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Colchester. Colchester sitting in 10th. I've already started mentioning Macclesfield, but I mentioned them once again. Sitting in 22nd. Points goes towards them this weekend. They could find themselves in the bottom two at this early stage. But as far as the results went, I've gone for... It was a 2-2, 2-1 uh, Colchester went at home. And... Macclesfield lost one nil away. Uh, what lost one nil away from home to Grimsby Town. Um, but where do you go with this one? But I've gone for a one nil Colchester win. My next one is Mansfield versus Plymouth Argyle. Um, Mansfield two two away to Port Vale. Plymouth losing to Chatham Town. What I've been hearing of Plymouth and what you've been saying to me, it's a bit disappointing. I mean, looking at the league table, Plymouth were top, what, a few, four, three weeks ago. Now they're down in full teams. This is how tight, how tight the league table could get, you know, over the, over the weeks of uh, the season. Down in full teams and if I was a Plymouth fan, I'd probably be looking more over my shoulder than up. Um, that's just my perspective again, but please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 0 Plymouth win. My next one is Morecambe versus Northampton Town. Northampton Town 2 2 draw at home against Crawley. Morecambe losing 3 1 to my Oldham Athletic away from home. I feel so damn hearted for Northampton Town. What Northampton Town have done is basically get a couple of wins under your belt, you can start looking up. Northampton Town are 8 points off the bottom. Um, no, not 8, sorry. Uh, 9. 9 points off the bottom. Um, but, you know, that's what early wins can do for you this season. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Northampton Town win. Good luck to Northampton. I know you're probably a bit downhearted, but as every club, as every fan, as I am as well, I do support a certain team. Please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Um, we always got to look forward. You can look back. Um, all, the, all you want, but it's not going to change anything. But good luck to you, Northampton Town, for this weekend, and good luck to every club. Include, I know my predictions might write some teams off, but this is just my opinion. You can still go out there and prove me wrong, which has been proved, uh, you know, week in, week out. So, um, 
But my next one is for uh, Salford City versus Forest Green. Salford went one to up against Crew Alexander and threw it away 4 1. Um, Forest Green 0 0 at home to Stevenage. Forest Green sitting fifth in the table as it stands, and they're going up against 17th Salford City. And what I've been seeing of Salford City of recently, they want ground to be sacked. This might be the best time to play Salford this season. Um, not not middle because we're nowhere near the middle yet. Not the beginning, but now. Um, I give every bit of chance to Forest Green this weekend, which well I've gone with this scoreline, and I've gone with a two-one Forest Green win. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Bradford. Scunthorpe down near the foot of the table, Bradford sitting in sixth. Um, Bradford beating Carlisle 3 1 at home this weekend. Scunthorpe losing away to Walter 1 0. Um, I'm just going to give you the result for this one, and I've gone for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Cambridge. Stevenage down in 24th, Cambridge up in 11th, all these, all these games have been played so far, no big hold off, hopefully none of them get called up with lots of waterlogged pitches, and, but it probably will do come Christmas time, but f so far so good. Um, But Cambridge losing 1 0 at home to uh, Swindon Town. Stevenage 0 0 against Forest Green. But as far as this one goes, I've gone for a 3 0 Cambridge Town win. Cambridge United, sorry. Um, my last one for this weekend is Swindon Town versus Newport. Swindon Town, just as you mentioned them, because of Cambridge, beating Cambridge 1-0 away from home. Great three points for Swindon Town. Newport, 1-1 at home to Exeter. This, yet again, is a top-of-a-cable clash that we would love to see. Love to be there for it. Um, is this, you know, time to... I know, as I've said in this video... There's still a long way to go, but this is where it could cost um, whether you finish in that bracket, in the top three bracket, in the playoff bracket, or back in for League 2 for another season. Um, but, you know, I've spoke about both results. Uh, Swindon Town, great three points away from uh, for them. I've already mentioned that. Newport, disappointing result. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But guys, anyway, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.